Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to work with the direct or uh, messages system, right? We have our template here, and of course the first thing that we need to do, let's stop this one, we need to create a new app, right? Um, so I will name one, I will name mine, um, start app direct. You can name whatever you want, but remember um, there is a like a like this like app here called like Django.country of the messages. So if you name yours like messages, it will probably clash with this one. So try a different name. Okay. So yep, I just created mine direct. And now we are going to work with the inbox. Um sorry, with the models. Of course, um, let's go to the models here. And um, yeah, first let's create a new class, message, I will name my message, and then models, that model. The first, the first field will be user. First, we need to import from django.contrib like of out like models import user models that for a key user oops user on delete models cascade and then related name will be oops User. Good. Um, let's create another one. This one will be sender. This will be like the user that's sending the message, basically. Same thing. We can just copy this whole thing, right? Let's copy this one. Paste it here. This one will be. This is the sender, right? From user. Let's copy this one again. Let's paste it here. We have the user and the sender and we need uh, now we need recipient. Right? There will be two user like the destination recipient. Um recipient recipient I don't know. Yep. Um, foreign key, la la la. Of course, we need a body or like test message, whatever model that test field, and then let's put a mass length of 1000, I guess, and then blank true null true update course date oops date time field let's put I don't know add true okay um of course we need like a is red models that boolean fail and this of course it will be for default it will be Fault will be false. Okay, we have our model. So now let's create uh, a method. Let's call it like send message. This will take as a parameter from user. Um, I mean, as a parameter from user. Um, to user, like the recipient, and it will take a message, right? Um, let's create a new, yep, new variable, send message, mess, message, not sender, message, right? This will be equal to send to message, let's instantiate this one. 
let's go down here. So a user here, we are here. So user will be from user. We'll get that one for, for from our parameter. And the sender will be from user. Okay. And recipient will be to user. And body be body and then we're me date is like automatically now we need this red um true why because this is a person this is a sender he's sending a message that's why we have like user because he's creating an object for him and then sending that to of course like he will create one for you know himself here too and then send it to him right um yeah so um now let's save that sender message that save okay now we need to that's for the sender right now we need one because when we send a message right we create one for us and we create another one for the recipient right so here recipient underscore message recipient message right it will be message same thing here user will be to user right because the this is from from the from the person like um this will be for the person sending right recipient right Okay, sender will be from user, comma, and body will be body, and then recipient will be from user, right? It makes sense now, right? Can you see that the like the difference between these two right so yeah when we send the message we need to um oops let's go here save that recipe oops recipient message dot save okay and then this will this method will return send their message the first one right good um yeah i think that's good um now let's let's create another method right this method will call it get messages and this will take the user as parameter right so here so like this method we're going to execute and when we want to load like the messages that are like here so we're working with this section right now right with all of these ones okay so we go here oops we go to our messages this section sorry is called like messages and this one will be called directs directs are from the messages right so the messages are basically like conversations with users right um, I hope that I make a little sense here. So um, the first thing we need to, because we're like loading users here, so let's create a new dictionary, like an empty dictionary called users. And we're, what we're going to do, we're going to append the data that we're getting, and we're appending that to the users dictionary, right? So, yep. Let's create a new variable. Messages will be equal to message dot object dot filter, and the user will be user. And then let's go here values. What we're we getting the recipient, and now we want to like annotate the annotate the 
results that is just import um i mean we we want to like um also get the maximum value in this case will be the date because we want to like order it by basically um last and this is the best like method to do it just in case we have like a bunch of like messages and stuff um yeah let's just go here and like import from django.db that models import max you can read more about that in the documentation here um, you can type django oops django db max and then yeah you can read oops yep yeah, here you see max price across all of all books um yep let's delete that go here um okay we're here okay and now um we're going to annotate that and oops annotate last will be what max date oops date the maximum date right and we are to order that order by if we are like ordering that what like by because it's, we want to the last is the last message right so let's okay. okay let's go here okay now here we are going to append these messages to our dictionary so for message in messages users that append and then let's put the dictionary here and then user will be user object that get and we're getting the pk and then a message recipient right yeah just like that um and now let's put oops comma here and we want also last will be message last right okay so also we want to like let me see here we want to basically like count like how many like unread messages we have from this user so here let's create a new one called um unread and then message that objects that filter then here user will be user recipient score underscore pk because we're getting the message here recipient and now because we're like because here we're like counting like all these unread messages that we have from that user okay so it's read equals file false sorry and we are going to count all those messages that we have okay okay now here okay we're done so let's now we are going to return the users good um yeah i think that we have everything here we have like two methods one to send message and one to like get the messages that so like these get messages will work here in this side and yeah now let's let's save save that and now let's run the migrations python manage that pi um make migrations and now migrate and the 
that's weird. Oh, we need to, yeah, we need to add this app to the, let's go here, settings, and let's go here, direct. We need to add the app to the main project. Now let's run the migrations again, make migrations, and then migrate. Um, beautiful and um, yep so we have the so we have the the models so in the next video we're going to start working with um our direct um yeah also i'll stop here now um thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye